What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to talk about some ways that you can help neck and shoulder pain. Um, a lot of times people have pain or just tension in their neck and in their shoulders. And a lot of times that will lead to having migraines or other injuries. And the biggest reason that people start having pain and tension in their neck and in their shoulders is because we sit at our desks all day long. A lot of us are just on our computer all day or driving and we're rounding our shoulders and we're slouching forward like this. We're just sitting at our desk on our computer like this. And when you do that, it creates a tight pec muscle in your chest, which will round the shoulder forward. And all that does is create tension in your upper traps, which are right here, and then all the way up to your neck, which connects, obviously, um, to the migraines and then just tension and again pain that can be caused all around your shoulder joint um, and your neck. So I have this ball that I use and this is self myofascial release is the actual um, proper term for it and I like to think of it just as you're giving yourself a deep tissue massage pretty much. So you can use this which I just got I think at Academy or even Walmart maybe um, and then also a lacrosse ball works really really good. But pretty much what you're doing is you're finding the fascia and the muscles and that fascia gets knotted up and gets tight, it gets bound up. And what you're doing with this is you're literally just rolling it out and you're finding those knots, finding those pain areas in the muscle and you're just you're treating that area yourself by putting pressure on it with the ball. So I'm gonna go to the wall and I'm gonna do it and show y'all very, very simply how you can help this pain yourself. So there are four key muscles that contribute to this pain and this tension in the neck. Um, it starts out, like I said, in the pecs. So you have your pec minor, your pec major. Then you have the front delt, and then you have the traps in your back. So you have your upper traps and your mid traps. Um, those are reflected from the tightness that starts out in your chest. So the biggest and the easiest way to treat this in your chest is just by putting the ball against a wall. I raise my arm up just to be completely even with my shoulder. And then all you're doing is you're literally just rolling around on that muscle and you might have to put it down a little bit and you find where you feel tension. So right here is where I find a knot in my muscle. Um, and I, you literally just roll right over it. It doesn't feel great, but it feels way better after. Um, and so you literally just sit there and roll on it and hold. You can go all up and down the chest muscle, the pec muscle and then also on the front delt. So I would start it out right here on my front delt, put it up against the wall, lean into it with some pressure, go all across your shoulder. And you can also bring your hand down and up, which will create that muscle to move a little bit. So you wanna find those knots. When you find those knots, that's where you find the tension, that's where you find the, the tightness um, that you wanna work out. So then the next thing is, like I said, the upper traps, which start right here, and then all the way down to the mid traps, and even really kind of like hug your shoulder blade, the back of your shoulder blade. So you take the ball, same thing. You put it on those upper traps and you just go all around that muscle and you're probably gonna feel a lot of tightness on this one. And you wanna really get into it, lean into it, and you can go all the way up to your neck. A lot of people will have knots in their neck. And then bring the ball down further. And like I said, just kind of hug, just kind of hug that shoulder blade. And this is gonna be a lot of tension as well. And then same thing, bring this arm up and back down. And you just keep rolling on it, keep rolling on the muscle. You're not gonna hurt yourself, you're not gonna injure yourself doing this if you're staying on the muscle. Like I said, you can do this with a lacrosse ball. This is a little bit bigger than a lacrosse ball, but you're not gonna injure yourself. As long as you're staying on the muscle, on the fascia, there's no, there's no damage to it. It doesn't feel good when you're doing it, but it's gonna feel much better afterwards. And then after you do that, you can get a good stretch in those areas and that's gonna significantly help um, the pain and the tightness that you're feeling and should help with any migraines or things like that that you might be experiencing. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you got something from this, let me know if there's any other muscle group that you would like me to address or another video along the same topic as this one that you would want me to do. Um, please leave it in the comments below. And uh, it's Steven Kuvion with Just Results Coaching and that's it for this video.